today I'm gonna print my photos on tissue paper and I'm going to do it using a gel plate so it's really a form of image transfer and this is what the photo looks like after being transferred to the tissue paper and I'm sure you're wondering why do I need to print my photos on tissue paper so let me show you what you can do with these photos so here you can see I placed the photo over a collage and since the photo is on tissue paper the tissue paper basically becomes transparent and it blends in with the collage very nicely and it's also great because you can mount it on other surfaces like this wood surface which is really a wood floor sample but now it's a picture hanging on the wall this is another example and it's also mounted on wood and this one is on canvas another thing you can do with these photos on tissue paper is to use them in a journal I really like to work with images and text on tissue paper when I work in my journals because they are so easy to work with and they just blend in so nicely and also the journal does not become bulky when you use these uh, tissue papers this is a journal I'm currently working on and I try to use my own photos on uh, most pages today we're gonna transfer one of my photos and maybe add it uh, to this page it's definitely missing something and I'm going to make a new page here so like I mentioned before we're gonna transfer the photos to the tissue paper using a gel plate and this is basically what a gel plate looks like and the tissue paper I'm going to use is art tissue or you can also use craft uh, tissue I sometimes use gift wrap uh, tissue but it usually doesn't blend in that well okay so we're gonna start with this photo and I'm just gonna transfer it for practice and I'm going to use black Amsterdam paint and I spread the paint with my brayer I place my photo face down onto the paint and press it lightly with my hands I guess it's not ready yet now it looks good and now I place the tissue over the image and the idea is to pull the image with the tissue paper
As you can see, most of the photo was pulled into the tissue paper. Okay, so now let's work on the missing image for this uh, journal page. I think this one will be a good choice. I'm going to use foil to mix paints for our next uh, transfer. I'm going to mix black and blue and the reason I'm doing it is because I want to use dark blue but I don't have dark blue paint. So mixing it with black works just fine. By the way, if you're interested in taking my new class, Gel Printing Images, you will learn how to transfer your own photos with a gel plate and you'll be able to create beautiful artwork from using your own photos or any other images or illustrations, anything you have and you can print it, you can transfer it with a gel plate. So if you're interested, check out the links to the online class below in the description area. And since I have so much paint left, I'm just going to transfer another photo. And now our last photo transfer to tissue. This time I'm mixing brown and black. And I want to print a photo for the new journal page. And now, just for fun, let's uh, transfer some text, which I can use in my journal too. That's the cool thing about this process. If you can print it, you can transfer it with a gel plate. And I'm going to use dark purple for the text. And since this video is running longer than what I thought it would, I will show you how to apply the images in the journal in the next video. And also we're going to make a new journal page using backgrounds and text, which are also transferred to tissue paper with a gel plate. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know when part 2 of this video is out. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in my books and online classes, check out the links below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.